into this video. I tested one star hotels by Ryan Tran. Trahan? Yeah, Ryan Trahan. Uh, I guess he went around uh, the country looking for reviews of one star hotels. And, you know, normal people be like, nah, if it's one star. <laughs> I'm probably not going to stay there, no matter how cheap it is. But he wanted to see how bad these one star hotels really were. So he sacrificed himself to test out these hotels. So we're going to check. How many stars you stop at? Like, what's your limit? Like, you can't go below three and a half. Can't go below that. That's below the that. limit. Three and a half. Anything below that, then it's like, all right, bro, what, what are we doing? I'm and sometimes those. Bro. Sometimes they be they be doing they be charging a lot as if they a five star. I'm like, hey, whoa, <laughs> fuck, nigga? Settle down. Act your Calm star. Down. Yo, act yo, your rating. Yeah, act yeah, act your rating, my nigga. <laughs> I, I like three point eight four. I really can't yeah. go. I like I like four and up to be honest with you. Okay, okay, I mean, okay. I can't, I can't really do the three. Three point eight, three point seven, three point five is cool, but you gotta really look at them. You know what happened with them one and a half that didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, know, you, you definitely go through the review. But sometimes it's petty shit too, though. So that's why yeah. you do want to go through the review. Oh, you mm -hmm. try to check in and it was mis yeah, yeah, yeah. It can it can just be certain circumstances. People didn't have a good time there, and then it could be. The stay. Are there any weirdos walking around? Mm -hmm. Security stuff like that. But yeah. yeah. All that's right, let's get into this one, man. I have collected the craziest one-star hotel reviews across all of America. And today, I'm gonna put them to the test. The My hand. only rule for this challenge is I have to leave a five-star review at every hotel, but I can't lie. My journey begins <laughs> on a flight to a place that I've always wanted You're to lying, go. Man. Utah. Utah, welcome Utah. What? <laughs> what? That's a red flag right there. This nigga didn't even Condo speak. Lodge. Hotel number one, Salt Lake, Utah. All right. Oh, welcome. Hey, Damn. I am in Salt Lake City, Utah. I know what you're thinking, Ryan, that's like the chillest place on earth. What's wrong with this hotel? Right, that's what, that's what I thought as well until I saw Stefan's review. Drove six hours from Vegas. Wouldn't let me in the building till check it. There is a blizzard outside. Made me pay $100 oh. cash deposit. Then at 9 p.m. I was exhausted. There was a hostage situation in the room above me. Bomb what? squad, 60 cops around the building. Oh. I was forced to go to another room and they refused to refund me. Don't stay here. One star, Stefan. So oh, this makes yes. me wanna go there. This nigga said it was a hostage. We have you surrounded. Make sure you come out with your hands up. And you Evacuate just, the other uh, hotel room. You rooms. trying to sleep downstairs and you hear that shit. You like, bro, what the fuck have I gotten myself in? A hostage situation <laughs> in what Utah. Fun, you don't need a refund, dude. You need a therapist. <laughs> Did all that really Utah. happen here? White people's Howdy. Africa. I'm scared. And Stacy's not making me feel any better. This was by far the worst hotel I've been to, just to list a few things. Bed bugs all over. Dirty, oh. dirty, dirty. Window broke. Door broke. A hundred dollar oh. cash deposit. Now I'm broke. One star. <laughs> okay, so the bed bugs seem to be a common complaint. I didn't sign up for roommates. <laughs> <laughs> not the... Nah, I'm broke. Right. And bed bugs is that's a very serious thing, bro. You don't Hell. want to take that shit with you. Cause yeah, once it gets on you, gets on your clothes, get in your car, it's they GGs, going for a bro. Ride. They're going for a ride. If you need to pick me up like I did after those reviews, here's here's Williams review. It's just a selfie. There's no yeah, caption. There, there's no message. There's barely any information other than just William. William, <laughs> don't ever change. Well, I have to find a way to leave an honest five star review at potentially the most concerning hotel in America. And to test the legitimacy of this $100 cash deposit policy, I have no money. I've got no cash. I'll see you on the other side. Hello. Hey, just checking in for uh, last name Trahan. Okay, so I do require a $100 cash deposit. You can Hi. To check out. I don't have any cash. There's an ATM down 7 Eleven. There's. Down 7 Eleven. <laughs> Wow! Yay! Who's the hundred? He better Wait, than me. Yeah, this nigga, yeah. nigga uh, walked two miles. And then they want a cash deposit. Someone said nuke it! Eh, well. <laughs> you can get something smaller than a nuke, but that's wild. Air Airstrike. You don't need a nuke. You need an airstrike. Couple of missiles will take care of this right away. Clear the purposes. Yeah. 
Let me make one thing abundantly clear. I didn't come all this way to leave an average review. I came all this way because I want to be the greatest reviewer of all time. Yeah, I bought a briefcase for this. I just, I, I don't know. That made me look cool. I mean, there are three main accusations for this hotel. We've already proven one of them. So we'll be checking the room Whoa. pretty shortly. But one thing they don't tell you in the reviews, this view. Okay, well, you can only pretty much see the fence from here, but there's a mountain back there. <laughs> oh yeah, look. There's a mountain. Great view. I love mountains. Anyways, this is my stay Beautiful. for the night. I can hear my upstairs neighbor actually very vividly. They keep flushing the toilet. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's concerning flush. for number three, but they flush this over down there. let's investigate number two. The main accusation I'm afraid of is Ooh. bed bugs. Oh. Oh, okay, well, one thing we just found pretty quickly, there is hair on the pillows, but that's Ooh. that's normal. That's where your that's where your head goes. Well, it's not normal. All right, let's see if there's uh -uh. any bugs in here. Uh, wakey, nah. wakey. Do you have any any bugs? Yep, there it is. Oh. That's one of them. Nope. See a lot. I think it might be. I think I don't know if it's alive. No, yeah, that's yeah. No, that's just concerning. Right, I honestly don't know what that right stuff there, huh? is on the bed. It's really not that big of a deal. Like if it's dead skin cells or something, like I probably have that in my bed. It's just the fact that it, I know it's not mine. Nigga, that's the problem. problem solved. The room comes with a microwave and a and a coffee machine. I feel like that's actually that's pretty good to help you overcome the other stuff. The bathroom is fine. It really is. The main thing, there's no way that there's this much. What are they okay? Is my question. The good news is it's almost dinner time and we still haven't had a hostage situation. That is a huge plus for me. We've got four walls, the doors locked, and I love sleeping bags. Really, the only thing left to do is order some Chinese food and wait to see if a bomb squad shows up for my. I'm done. Next door neighbor. And, uh... Dinner is served. Mm. The DoorDash driver had to like take a picture of, of the food delivery and I'm just in it. Why am I so awkward? <laughs> I look so awkward <laughs> in the photo. Well, you know what? I'm having a good night. I tried watching some TV, but for some reason only Impractical Jokers is on. Like I can't change the channel. And one of the main reasons I was excited to film this video, I haven't read a book in like two years. And my wife, Haley, she's been trying to get me to read and I just, I can't do it at home. I, I'm so distracted. So I took this book from her shelf and I'm going to surprise her by finishing it while going to these hotels. She's gonna eat that up, boys. I ate my meal while I enjoyed the incredible view outside my window. <laughs> Good news, it's sleepy time and no hostage. <laughs> now I'm gonna finish writing my review. I really need to go to sleep. Okay, I'm ready. I wouldn't put my, <laughs> my damn <laughs> shoes on that bed. The roommate! <laughs> you guys are never gonna believe where I'm going. What the damn? Stupid, dog. The bed bug is the roommate, I think. Oh. Someone said the bed bugs was holding him hostage. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Oh, tiny mic. All right, where you going next? Ooh. Okay. Check that out. Hotel better. Fort Des Moines. I feel like I got to say that with a fancy accent. I know what you're thinking, Ryan. That hotel looks so fancy. It is. It actually costs a lot of money, which is so confusing because the ratings are so low. Maybe Troy's review can give us some insight. Not a single room ready until 6 p.m. When my room was finally done, I opened the fridge and let out the deepest groan of my adult life because there is old breast milk in the fridge. Oh, and now I have to remove it to make room for my wife's leftover lasagna. I can't do this anymore. I'm getting too old. I'm <laughs> What? I thought that review was insane until I scrolled down and immediately read Scott's. Hurt myself getting out of bathroom, hitting a set of keys decoration. Bathroom is so small, it's just so small, I can't stand it. Wife and baby not happy, I'm not happy. Worst of all, there are leftover nachos in the fridge. Oh! What the damn was... leftovers in the refrigerator? The employees are just leaving food in there or something? I'm supposed to clean that shit, dog. They must not have you know a break I had to dispose of them myself because my wife needed a clean fridge for breast milk. Dylan, the night manager, was rude. One star. It so was wait, you. How is this even real? I feel milk. like I just watched a movie. Huh? They left the breast milk. Ooh. So the, the reviewer uh, before that one said when they opened the refrigerator, it was uh, leftover breast milk. And then the reviewer that he just read mm. said they had some old food in there and they had to have a clean fridge <laughs> so his wife could put her breast milk in there. Sticking left the breast. Bro, that means they don't clean the fridge. <laughs>
<laughs> that was insane. I just witnessed back-to-back -back guests leave one-star reviews because of each other. And on top yeah. of all of that, I don't think Lauren <laughs> B understands funny. how these reviews work. Damani's Iowa hotels near me. One star. Amen to that, Lauren. You're doing a great job. All right, well, let's go find a way to leave this place in on. Just like Homeland. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be easy. How's it going? <laughs> Right. I was immediately confused by what I was seeing. Fancy staircase, yeah. brown molding, fancy lights, big window, fancy jazz music on the speakers. They call snacks sundries. <laughs> this place is what? so nice. Sundries? Oh, these niggas fancy. What the hell's going on? Hey, just checking in. It's my first time to Des Moines. Oh my goodness. It's so what exciting. Goodness. What brings you here? Honestly, just staying here. One stars. Hey, what's going on? What? You got a little table right there to eat? What? 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 No. no. Hey, hey, fire. Oh, no. Wait, wait a on. minute. The Hold on, bro. Wait a minute. That shit. I'll take a little leftover breast milk for that. Come on, bro, now. That shit look clean. How's that a 2.7? They gotta have ghosts. Now nah, they gotta have ghosts. They got it ghosts gotta hungry, be greedy in the ghost. living room or something. <laughs> hungry ghost is leaving food in the refrigerator. <laughs> something, bro. Hey. Emergency meeting. This is the nicest hotel room I've ever been in. The other hotels are not gonna be like this one. They're not gonna be like this one at all. Wow. I picked the hotels based on which ones had the lowest ratings in America. The main reason for the one star reviews are the following. One, the room is dirty. Two, the bathroom is small. And three, there is food and potentially other fluids in the <laughs> fridge that are not mine. And potentially other Let's fluid. investigate. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> what the fuck? Nighty night. Oh gosh, that's dark. Oh. I bought a black light on the internet. Let's see if this room's actually dirty. I started off with the pillows. No hair. Then I moved on to the TV remote, one of the dirtiest objects known to man. I got a sample for my microscope <laughs> and I went oh, to work. Not a sample, bro. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. This room is spotless. It's it's actually really clean. The bathroom. <laughs> Is also hey! completely massive. Right. What the fuck, hey, bro? What did they I... leave the wrong hotel? Bro, how do you get? How you bump into that? Oh, look shack? at, look at, look at the size of that. In most hotel rooms, bro, you not getting the bathroom that size, bro. He has an echo. Yeah, in the bathroom that should let you know. Somebody said that's another room. <laughs> what? what? What was the last thing? Oh yeah. Oh. This is actually scary. I'm actually scared. I don't know what I would do if I opened this and I just saw breast milk in here, but here goes nothing. Here we go. The moment of truth. Two, one. No. Now that my investigation is complete, I decided to treat myself to a dinner at their restaurant. Proud Footed Bird. Proud Why do fancy food. restaurants have names like this? Hey, yeah. I just prefer one. This place is so nice. Yeah, I got the chicken. Wow. It's not chicken. I don't know what it is, to be honest. But it was really good. You, you guys have chocolate cake? Can I order chocolate cake here? I ordered some dessert to my room, and I, I watched That's football. Cool, I was man. having a great time oh, until no. I... Oh, I just spilled the cake all over. Oh, well, come on, bro. No, so they no, got the flat screen right there, and the flat screen in the liver. Bro, the this liver is room. tough. Oh. Yeah, one job, bro. I spilled the cake on the mattress. No. Yeah, one job, bro. I bet he still eat it. No. Oh, he definitely gonna eat that cake. Uh, <laughs> I yep. just imagine the next review being about the stained bed sheets. I'm the reason for the one star. <laughs> you can't take me anywhere. Sure. I actually feel so bad. He seems comfortably in there. <laughs> yeah, bro. I had a great night of sleep. I brushed my teeth. I took a shower, and then I saw it. It's the key. Made some coffee, drank it, and then I was ready for my review. Thanks. Right. Oh, this on point. Ballet team is lovely. Every surface is spotless. The fridge doesn't I made my way to the next airport <laughs> and continued reading. I'm actually quite invested in this book, and I'm just excited to see if this next hotel is my happy place. You got a $10 on New York. <laughs> All right, man. It looked like a little crash there. So busy yeah. here. I'm from a small town. I am easy. 
Ah, yeah. New York talk. <laughs> I'm in New York City, baby. Oh, boy. <laughs> Lots of people. The hotel behind me is looking pretty good, but let's hear what John has to say. Bad. Never go here. There are rats in the bad and fish in the toilet. Roaches on the floor, gorilla in the shower. A killer knocking on my door shot it down. Trees growing in the sink. One star. Where do I begin? How did that so review feel like? A killer knocking on my door shot it down. Nigga, it sounded like you was in a, I don't know, situation, bro. <laughs> this, nigga went, this nigga made that shit up. Hell yeah. Nigga, you Horror seen the movie picture? and a children's book at the same time. And the photo he left, I mean, I'm praying this review is a joke. It literally has to be a joke. And Brian isn't making me feel any better about this. Don't stay here unless you're willing to lose it all. The risk isn't worth the cost, and the cost is the price of the risk. What? Start. I think <laughs> this that nigga dropped the bar. <laughs> This nigga dropped a quotable in the review. <laughs> Dog. This is funny. This is it funny. Sense. I think I'm terrified. When I was trying to book the hotel behind me because its average rating is 1.4 stars, 1.4. Well, I was running into a lot of complications because the whole thing with this hotel is that they keep changing their name. On Apple Maps, it's called New York Inn, but there's a sign that says City Rooms NYC, and then in the entryway, it says Be Home Hotel. On top of all of our concerns, every website has wildly different photos of what the inside what looks the like. Really, the only way we're gonna get any answers and have any hope at leaving a five-star review is if I go inside. Let's go find out what the heck this hotel's called we're here this is this is it is it a real place yes hey um i'm just uh, checking in for the hotel is this the hotel mm -hmm. what was this place called actually by the way before the city was be home okay well now we know why the be name keeps home. changing management <laughs> but there are some major accusations for this room so let's check it out I'm not doing that again. We have some serious investigation to do in the toilets, showers, everything else. <laughs> this looks pretty good. But is it? I don't know. I was trying to have some sort of sick one-liner, but this one is okay. No rats in the bed. No fish in the toilet. No, no gorillas in the shower. Really nervous about this one. Oh, thank goodness. No trees in the sink. What's going on here? Please be a gorilla. Please be a gorilla. Heck? And I thought the view in Utah was good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. Just a pipe in another building. That is crazy, bro. That re that that view sucks. <laughs> nice. It's like you're just looking at some pipes. What you see out there, baby? In another building. Uh, just some pipes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <What> God. Is <laughs> There's two massive pipes. Then I decided to go out and find some daytime. dinner. I'm in an amazing location. That's a huge plus of this hotel. I'm right by Times Square. I decided on New York pizza across the street. Have you had this pizza before? Yes. Thank you. I just had one. Ah, oh, cheese or pepperoni? Or? I like cheese. Cheese. I'm a cheese guy too. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. Ah, oh, I got it. Victor, can you take a picture of me with my pizzas? Sure. <laughs> like an old Damn. Person. Oh, is it? Yeah, sorry. yeah, it's the other side. Oh, it's on selfie mode. They say New York on three. The other way. Yeah. One, two, three. He stopped recording. On okay, what's the real New York? I fold it in half. Fold it in half and okay. slide it down your throat. Oh, hey, hey yo! Uh... <laughs> hey, yo! Take it easy now, man. This thing it turned into a glizzy. That's how you supposed to eat the pizza, though. He said... You folded it up and you slide. He should have been easy on the slide. Down. We got That's some cool. New Yorkers in here too. So, hey, to, to the do, New you Yorkers. You're supposed to fold it in half. And, you know. <laughs> to the New Yorkers in the chat. Let us you know. You see that on uh, Ninja Turtles? Or... That's how y'all eat y'all pizza. <laughs> uh, you fold it in half. Oh, oh, this way, this way, this way. Sideways. You folded it the wrong way. Dude, you've never eaten All right, pizza. Goes oh. <laughs> I walked over to Times Square and had an amazing time. It was a great, it was a great evening. I am back at the hotel. This is my buddy CJ. We had so much fun. I ate my pizza and then he got a hot dog and then we hung out for like 30 minutes. I love New York. <laughs> I just been reading for like two hours, which is a huge feat for me. But when you've got a view like this, I mean. <laughs>
Right, this on the wall. This room is really nice. I also took a shower earlier. The shower's great. The whole bathroom's good. Really, everything about this room is pleasant. It feels good inside. The AC is blowing cold. The tile is Subway. No complaints. <laughs> also, this burrito. This is the stubbiest Chipotle burrito I've ever seen. Yes, I got more food. I can't even slap that. Damn. Can I? Damn. Oh. Okay, I'm ready. No rat. No fish in the toilet. Fish. No gorilla in the towel. No trees in the sink. I don't know where he got the tree in the sink. My flights in the next city didn't leave for a while, so I enjoyed my time in New York. I got a bagel, a coffee. It was awesome. But there's no time to waste. Actually, there was. That was the whole thing I just said. But I've got to keep moving. In this new city, I did my favorite thing in the world. Rent a car. I have now arrived to South Dakota. Hell. <laughs> Am I going to fall? Yep. I'm in a rental car because I have to drive 100 miles to this next Whoa. hotel. A hundred. We got Damn, a Toyota today. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I better hit. <laughs> I'm going to drive. <laughs> <laughs> I also really want to finish this book for Haley, so I'm listening to the audiobook. A cottage on the rocky shoreline with not even time for and nearly always open. He was, de he was dedicated, man. As I approached Tell my me. destination, I was confused because I am in the middle of nowhere. But then I saw it. Watertown. Watertown. I made it to the lowest rated hotel in South Dakota. This is like the least trustworthy looking building I think I've ever seen. Somehow it's an inanimate object, yet slash. still looks like it's evading taxes. It probably is. <laughs> this is the only solid photo of, of the inside that I could find, which is frightening. You know so let's check out the reviews. <laughs> Matt said, moving. been coming here for 10 years and lose money every time. That was what? 2015, and then he updated his review a year later. Each time I go, I ask myself, why I bother going here? This is my last time coming. Good riddance. And then, uh... You guessed it, he updated his review again. <laughs> Update, even worse. The payout on the slots is so horrible. Give your money yep. to the state and not it. these mm -hmm. tight jerks. Never coming back. Guys, he wasn't done. He came back three years later and updated his review again. Decided to try again. Uh, still not much has changed. This place is a joke. Lost so much money. I wish this place never existed. I'm done here. Burn my casino what? card. It's hilarious that I can hit a max bet bonus here and I get no. $40. Wahoo. That's not even gas money to get home. Brilliant. I'm moving to Florida. I'm getting emotional. This nigga keep coming back, bro. He didn't even, like, dog. This nigga kept going back over and over and over, leaving a review every time he lost. Hey, bro, them casinos be having a hold on people, bro. He, he was mad because he kept losing. <laughs> <laughs> saying this but i don't think he moved to florida because he went back tried my luck again this absolutely right guys we need to have an intervention if matt is in there right. i'm taking him back home to texas with me <laughs> gambling is illegal there i know that's not even about the hotel but i i thought it was so crazy which is I crazy have to try the slots in the casino imagine i win <laughs> a bunch of money <laughs> The hotel, for the most part, sounds pretty good, except for this one review from Bill. Very disappointed. We drove over from Minnesota for a weekend away. We checked into our room, and it was okay at best. In need of some upgrades. Then we looked around and found an underwear on the side of the jacuzzi tub. Did he just say there's a jacuzzi in the hood? I'll continue. We went down to the desk to ask right. for a different room. Lady didn't even seem surprised about the underwear. No sorry. No free play at the casino. ATMs didn't work. How am I supposed to gamble, moron? <laughs> Save money, live better. Don't come here. That all sounded really <laughs> awful until he threw the Walmart slogan in yeah. at the end. <laughs> right, save, save money. money. <laughs> <laughs> what? He did throw the Walmart slogan in there. How did he do that? Or why? Look, guys, the night is still young, and I've got a reservation with my name on it at the lowest rated hotel in South Dakota. I may never say that again. Hopefully not. Let's go see if we can find Matt. Putting your pee in there. I'm not coming in here no more. I know. Came all the way out here for for this place. <laughs> this place really in the middle of nowhere, huh? It is. Are the slots lucky today? They are. Have a good one. For a shadow. Pretty decent. All right. Walking. Sorry, I gotta stop with the slow mo. I just, I, I think it's so cool. If you're wondering why the lighting is so good in this shot, it's because I literally, I have my phone on a light bulb. <laughs> How about a room tour? The bed is cozy. This is a nice bed. The fridge does not contain breast milk. 
Not one, but two chairs for all of your sitting needs. <laughs> and finally, the bathroom is really nice and it does not contain underwear. I'm starting to think Bill's review was an inside job and he just wanted free spam uh, slots. Right. It doesn't surprise me that a hotel attached to a casino would have bad reviews. It's mostly probably just people that lost their money. Cause this is, I'm having fun. Look at this menu. Are you oh, kidding me? That's the most fun looking menu I've, I think I've seen. Look, oh. stack, they got pizza, fries. Oh, hold on. Look like tenders. Fried pickles, cheese curds, onion rings, steak, nachos, pork, pork shanks. Ooh. Oh, it's what it says. Pork shanks. I've never, never heard of that. Uh, that sounds kind of dangerous. Not bad, bro. You just ordered that. What? I, I don't know what That's they talk about. Huge menu, bro. Yeah. In any establishment. I love it here. Also on the way here, I pretty much started crying at this book. This book's got me in a trance. It's like a, it's like a cheesy romance book. For reference, Haley rated this book five stars. I think she's actually gonna freak out whenever she realizes that I read this book. I've got like three more chapters left. This is crazy. I haven't read a book, so I'm experiencing some character development here. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm gonna go gamble. This place feels like a world in the metaverse. I can't believe how much dopamine is available here. I'm willing to lose a $20 bill for the video just to prove that the slots are rigged, but you're never gonna believe what happened. Oh. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh. I kind of stopped recording at this point because I had like $6 left. I thought I was oh. gonna lose it all. And then... Wait! Wait, no way! Oh, no way! Wow. No way I just did that. Did I just Damn, win the Mega Jackpot? No way. Matt is gonna be so upset. I just won the Mega <laughs> Jackpot. This is insane. I started getting oh, really nervous because wow. I feel like everyone was looking at me like oh, they were mad at me. So I just cashed out as fast as I could. Uh, yeah, you better get up out of there now. <laughs> People like you don't be winning around here. Right. The fuck is going on? Can you check hey! the hotel he's in? So he put 20 in and got almost 300 back. That's a, that's that's a dub. A win. That's a win. That's a win right there. That boy was smart though. He got cashed out. I got myself a big cheese pizza, yeah. did the New York bite, and watched some football. I just had oh, so much fun easy. at the that's casino. Matt, was... if you're watching this, dude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the place is great. Watched football. That was fun. Got back to my room and finished my book. I cannot wait to get home and tell Haley that I finished one of her favorite books. She's going to think it's romantic, I think. I've definitely got a good What's review doing? cooking for this hotel. But listen to how good one of these last lines is. No one else's happiness is yours to grant. But when hmm. I need to feel safe and happy, I go home. <laughs> because of Matt's review. <laughs> Look at that money. Sauce. Yo. <laughs> no, he is okay, stupid. I told Haley I have a surprise for her and she's freaking out. Can you get me a bed bug? No, I didn't get you a bed bug from those. She ain't playing about that. When and Harriet really should have moved to Montana. Oh, oh he in there. He in there. No way. <laughs> you read it? Five stars. What's your thing? Oh, yep. He in there. That's how you do it, fellas. That's how he got her. That's that's that's, that's how, how, that's how he it. got her. That's, that's how he got how her you originally. Do it right there. Right there. He in there, man. That's <clears throat> how you do it, man. Yeah, now they can go ball out with that, that almost three hundred dollars, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah. No, that man. was that was wild. <laughs> that, this is actually funny and entertaining. <laughs> no, that was. Uh, oh, I like, okay, I like how ahead. he did this video. Ryan Trahan, y'all go give him a subscription. And go ahead and like that video because that was oh, that was very sure. entertaining, bro. And uh, we may have to check out some other videos from him, man. That was that was good, bro. Yeah, hey, no, that 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 hotel, uh, the second one he went to, and that I was fire. Yeah, it was. That one was oh, that one was. You fire. seen it had a little. It had a little eating table, and then you can yeah. walk around the corner. It's the living room, and then they I'm still like, had. Bro. The room and then the big shower, like bro, maybe that, you want to go to there. That hoe was fire. I don't know what they was talking about, but that shit was cool. So that yeah, was a good no, one, though. That sure. was a good one. Forgot, bro, is a Texas fan. Uh, boy had to read a whole book to smash. Man, that was his wife. Shut up, you hater. <laughs> you he go was, get a book. Trying, he's trying to be romantic, bro. Come on, bro. You gotta yeah. sometimes get, get think outside the box. You know what I'm saying? The ladies take the, love that. Show their page out of his book. Yeah, yeah, man. He good. But no, nah, man. <laughs> if y'all enjoyed that one, let us know in the comments down below. Hey, let us know if we need to do some more of these. I'm definitely down to see some of his other videos. Those are definitely, definitely yeah. entertaining, man. And yeah, be careful in some of these hotels because 
just because they say it's a bad review don't mean it's necessarily horrible and just because they have good reviews don't mean they actually uh they're the absolute best so kind of got to do a a judgment deal on your own everybody have different experiences Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so the reviews are based off how that person probably felt that day little Mm -hmm. things and nuances that went on like you just never know so definitely got to give it a gauge yourself but hopefully you guys enjoyed it continue to spread love be love catch y'all on the next one peace out Already. The bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me.